And this, this is Jim Soldi with um, Ricky Skaggs right there. Yeah, right. He was in the band. Yeah. And it said, Soldi, thanks for the help, Ricky Skaggs. Yeah. And this is when Chris Hillman and Herb Peterson gave a concert at Valley Music Store. Yeah. Who's Herb Peterson? Well, Herb Peterson is a longtime partner of, uh, of Chris's. He uh, originally was with, played music with Vern Williams and Ray Parks. And, the Carroll County Country Boys back in uh, back in the sixties and uh, bluegrass and so on, and then uh, uh, moved on to play banjo mostly, but he plays guitar. Uh, and he did a with the country gazette, but he was also uh, with a couple of Chris Hillman's groups, uh, Desert Rose Band. And he was, and I think he, he had, when we had uh, the, shot, the reunion of the Tuffle Scorebinders at the Rip Festival, he was a part of that. Did you know, you don't know this guy, do you? That is Earl Floyd. That's the guy that Jim produces. Yeah, he's somebody fairly new. I know Richard Green pretty well. And he's a bluegrass member? Uh, he plays everything from uh, classical fiddle to rock and roll fiddle. He was in a group called Sea Trade. Uh, kind of a far out rock and roll band. Yeah, I, I've seen that album. What are you going to do? Yeah, that's their state of Albums, didn't they? Oh yeah, they got you. Yeah. And he uh, plays. He plays played bluegrass with the big names like Bill Monroe, and uh, he's also played with the Jim Queskin Jug Band. What was that? Was that a real popular band? That was a popular band in the '60s. They played. Uh, well, the other members of the band you might know is Maria Baldar. Uh huh. Midnight at the Oasis. Yeah, right. She and he was, played with them. Yeah. You must know him personally, huh? Yeah, I have Richard down to a couple of workshops. He you plays with a guy named uh, 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 Peter Pelham. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Alfred Lee, too. Do you know Jack Williams? Jack Williams used to be around the scene here in San Diego. I used to see his name an awful lot, so he must have been pretty popular. I never went to see him. You, what was he, a folk singer or a bluegrass singer? He played in clubs, that's all I know. Uh -huh. Brothers. And we, we've got Johnny Cash right here. From, that looks like from a movie there. That Getting could be, but the Johnny Cash uh, appeared at the Bostonia several times. Did you know Chris and Lenny? Yeah. Is that Chris Hillman? I think so. Yeah, that's Chris Hillman. Yeah, and I know Lenny, too. Lenny was, Lenny was with a group called Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah, and Jim was in that group, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they got real famous from being on Dr. Demento's show. Yeah, I was one of the very first people that ever booked them. They played my store or something. This is a personal picture with uh, Johnny Cash that Jim took when he was on tour with him. And that, that's a one of a kind. It's got Johnny Cash with a silver dollar on his forehead that Jim had him stick on there. Is there, any, is there any reason for that? I think just to be weird uh, or just to be unique. I know that when those guys, there were stories that when those guys went on tour, they would try to find the strangest restaurants to eat at. Probably because they were bored, you know, traveling through. So they would go to the most unusual places and eat. Just just to try out something new. They, they'd eat squid, and they'd eat all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It's just, no, no, Jim told me this. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, there we got uh, Two Valley Music, Slim Jim. He's from Slim Jim and the Mad Cows. You heard yeah, them? I've heard of them, yeah. yeah. I, I've seen their name. Well, we <laughs> and we also got Jake Brake here. It says Two Valley Music, and he's also uh, from the same band with Slim Jim. They bought their guitar strings here. I do. Yeah. They also bought a couple of guitars from here, too. I bought a nice old guitar once from This Jack. one says Two Valley Music Slim Jim. What? I said I bought a nice old guitar. You know, the uh, what's his name? Danny from uh, Iron Butterfly bought a guitar here. And the picture of the Mose Wright guitar on the back cover of it. Yeah. Uh, 
this one that was bought here. Yeah. I bought a Harvard, uh, an old Harmony Sovereign. That would give you a lot of sovereignty. <laughs> yeah, it's from the 30s, I guess, and I, I think it was stolen from me. I'm, I'm not sure what happened to that guitar. It just disappeared. Maybe it's under a pile of records you got over there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll discover it one of these days.